Hi guys, how's everything? This is Ahmad Rabi, and in this video we're going to speak about the word keen. Yes, this is a very common, very essential word, keen, and today we're going to understand different meanings of this word. Okay, I have to tell you that, guys, if you want to improve and expand your English vocabularies, you have to understand different meanings of one word. You have to understand the parts of the speech. So, let's start with the meaning. So, keen is an adjective and the adverb is keenly and the noun is keenness. So, the pronunciation is easy. It's not ken, it's long. It's keen, okay? It's keen. Let's start with the first meaning of keen. So, the first and the very common meaning of keen, which means very interested or eager. We have two structures here for keen. Keen on doing something or keen to do something. Okay? For example, she's keen on playing tennis, which means she's very interested in playing tennis. Or for this structure, we can say, I'm very keen to start teaching, which means I'm very interested in starting teaching. So, this is the first and the very common meaning of keen. The second meaning of keen means sharp. Yes. As you can see, this knife is very sharp. Okay? So, we can use the keen here. For example, uh, the other days I was in the kitchen and I was chopping the onions and I just cut myself with the keen knife. Yes, with the sharp knife. And my finger started to bleed. Yes. Sometimes I'm not very careful. The third meaning of keen is strong and intense. Something that is very strong and intense. For example, my dog has a keen sense of smell. So here, a keen sense of smell means a very strong sense of smell. The dog can find any smell very fast, okay? Or we can say keen desire or keen wind or keen interest. Keen desire means a very strong interest and desire. For example, uh, I have a keen desire to learn English. Keen wind means a very strong wind that can break the windows. And keen interest, again, means a strong interest for example, we can say, she has a keen interest in sports. So, the last meaning of keen means very good, quick, and well developed. Okay? For example, my brother has a keen mind. So, which means he has a very good mind. He's very intelligent. He can understand everything very quickly. Or Jack has keen eyes, very good eyes. He can see everything very well. So, these are four great meanings of keen. As I told you, we can use keen as an adverb, keenly, or noun, keenness. So, we can use it as an adverb. For example, we can say, there was an accident and she still keenly feels the loss of her first child, which means she extremely feels that. So, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Try to use this word in your sentences and don't forget to subscribe and like our video. We will have more videos and I want you to write one example for me with this word keen in the comments. Thank you.